Let's start by considering a piece of old news information. For example, people should be avoiding China to not contract COVID-19. Now this piece of information is fed into a false news detector. The job of this detector is to classify if a given sample is either true or false. Let's consider that for the sake of this example, the given detector is successful and correctly predicts that the given piece of information is false. So what would happen if we were to tamper with the given sample? Let's say that we change it to people should be avoiding the most populated country to not contract COVID. Now, if we change it this way, the detector might have real issues with correctly predicting if the given information is false or real. We call these kind of samples adversarial. They help us in revealing the given weakness of a model. We might either use it to attack a model or increase its robustness by creating these samples and then using them as training data. Now, as good as this is, we might ask ourselves, how do we collect these data? There are multiple ways one could go around this, but we consider one of them, a game. In here, we have human players that, given a piece of false information, are interacting with it. Let's consider the same from the previous example. So what could the player do? For example, he could change China to CCP. He could change the tense of the given sentence or add a non-meaning altering phrase at the end. All of these are potentially adversarial samples. If any of them tricks the given model, the player is awarded points. In total, we have collected 125 samples, out of which 64 of them successfully tricked the given detector. Now, as good as this is, it's kind of expensive. We don't want to use human labor for this task, as it's really not reproducible. So what can we do about this? Well, for one, we could use the identified player strategies for an automated adversarial generator. The job of this generator is to automatically produce these adversarial samples that are fed as training data to the given detector. As such, we will produce an even better false news detector.